Tell me why we shouldn't kill you now. The Conclave is destroyed. Everyone who attended is dead. Except for you. What do you mean, everyone is dead? Explain this. I... can't. What do you mean, you can't? I don't know what that is, or how it got there. You're lying! We need her, Cassandra. I can't believe it. All those people... dead. Do you remember what happened? How this began? I remember... running. Things were chasing me, and then... a woman? A woman? She reached out to me, but then... Go to the forward camp, Liliana. I will take her to the rift. What did happen? It will be easier to show you. It's a massive rift into the world of demons that grows larger with each passing hour. It's not the only such rift, just the largest. All were caused by the explosion at the Conclave. An explosion can do that? This one did. Unless we act, the breach may grow until it swallows the world. Each time the breach expands, your mark spreads, and it is killing you. It may be the key to stopping this, but there isn't much time. You say it may be the key. To doing what? Closing the breach. Whether that's possible is something we shall discover shortly. It is our only chance, however. And yours. You still think I did this? To myself? Not intentionally. Something clearly went wrong. And if I'm not responsible? Someone is. And you are our only suspect. You wish to prove your innocence? This is the only way. I understand. Then I'll do what I can. Whatever it takes. They have decided your guilt. They need it. The people of Haven mourn our most holy, divine Justinia, head of the Chantry. The Conclave was hers. It was a chance for peace between mages and Templars. She brought their leaders together. Now they are dead. We lash out like the sky, but we must think beyond ourselves as she did, until the breach is sealed. There will be a trial. I can promise no more. Come. It is not far. Where are you taking me? Your mark must be tested on something small. than the breach. Open the gate. We are heading into the valley.
pulses are coming faster now. The larger the breach grows, the more rifts appear, the more demons we face. How did I survive the blast? They said you stepped out of a rift, then fell unconscious. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. No one knows who she was. Everything far from that. Over. Drop your weapon. Now! All right. Have it your way. Wait. You don't need a staff, but you should have one. I cannot protect you. I should remember you agreed to come willingly. Take these potions. Maker knows what we will face. Where are all your soldiers? At the forward camp, or fighting. We are on our own for now. Them, we may gain the advantage.
the rift. You can hear the fighting. Who's fighting? You'll see soon. We must help them. It is yours. I closed that thing. How? Whatever magic opened the breach in the sky also placed that mark upon your hand. I theorized the mark might be able to close the rifts that have opened in the breach's wake. And it seems I was correct. Meaning it could also close the breach itself. Possibly. It seems you hold the key to our salvation. Good to know. Here I thought we'd be ass deep in demons forever. Barak Tethras, rogue, storyteller, and occasionally unwelcome tag along. Are you with the Chantry, or...? <laughs> Was that a serious question? Technically, I'm a prisoner, just like you. I brought you here to tell your story to the Divine. Clearly, that is no longer necessary. Yet, here I am. Lucky for you, considering current events. It's good to meet you, Varric. You may reconsider that stance in time. Oh, I'm sure we'll become great friends in the Valley, Chuckles. Absolutely not. Your help is appreciated, Varric, but... Have you been in the Valley lately, Seeker? Your soldiers aren't in control anymore. You need me. Ugh. My name is Solus, if there are to be introductions. I am pleased to see you still live. He means I kept that mark from killing you while you slept. You seem to know a great deal about it all. Like you, Solus is an apostate. Technically, all mages are now apostates, Cassandra. My travels have allowed me to learn much of the Fade. Far beyond the experience of any Circle mage. I came to offer whatever help I can give with the Breach. If it is not closed, we are all doomed regardless of origin. If I can close the Breach, I will. Cassandra, you should know. The magic involved here is unlike any I have seen. Your prisoner is a mage. But I find it difficult to imagine any mage having such power. Understood. We must get to the forward camp quickly. Well... Bianca's excited. This way, down the bank. The road ahead is blocked. We must move quickly. Demons ahead. Glad you brought me now, Seeker.
English, but clearly away from the rest of your clan. Did they send you here? What do you know of the Dalish? I have wandered many roads in my time, and crossed paths with your people on more than one occasion. It is silence then. As you wish. in premature execution. Clear for the moment. 
Well done. Whatever that thing on your hand is, it's useful. Here they come. You made it. Chancellor Roderick, this is... I know who she is. As Grand Chancellor of the Chantry, I hereby order you to take this criminal to Valroyo to face execution. Order me? You are a glorified clerk, a bureaucrat. And you are a thug, but a thug who supposedly serves the Chantry. We serve the Most Holy, Chancellor, as you well know. Justinia is dead! We must elect a replacement and obey her orders on the matter. Isn't closing the breach the more pressing issue? You brought this on us in the first place! Call a retreat, Seeker. Our position here is hopeless. We can stop this before it's too late. How? You won't survive long enough to reach the temple, even with all your soldiers. We must get to the temple. It's the quickest route. But not the safest. Our forces can charge as a distraction while we go through the mountains. We lost contact with an entire squad on that path. It's too risky. Listen to me. Abandon this now, before more lives are lost. How do you think we should proceed? I say we charge. I won't survive long enough for your trial. Whatever happens, happens now. Liliana, bring everyone left in the valley. Everyone. On your head be the consequences, Seeker. if we had to get past. Quickly, then!
shield, as before. You are becoming quite proficient at this. Let's hope it works on the big one. Lady Cassandra, you managed to close the rift. Well done. Do not congratulate me, Commander. This is the prisoners doing. Is it? I hope they're right about you. We've lost a lot of people getting you here. You're not the only one hoping that. We'll see soon enough, won't we? The way to the temple should be clear. Liliana will try to meet you there. Then we'd best move quickly. Give us time, Commander. Make her watch over you, for all our sakes. Temple of Sacred Ashes. What's left of it? That is where you walked out of the Fade, and our soldiers found you. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. No one knows who she was. Have your men take up positions around the temple. This is your chance to end this. Are you ready? I'll try, but I don't know if I can reach that much less close it. No. This rift was the first, and it is the key. Seal it, and perhaps we seal the breach. Then let's find a way down, and be careful. Now is the hour of our victory. Bring forth the sacrifice. What are we hearing? At a guess, the person who created the breach. Know this stuff is Red Lyrium Seeker. I see it, Beric. But what's it doing here? Magic could have drawn on Lyrium beneath the temple, corrupted it. <laughs> it's evil. Whatever you do, don't touch it. Keep the sacrifice still. Someone help me! That is Divine Justinia's voice. called out to you, but...
What's going on here? Run where you can! Run them! We have an intruder. Slay the elf. there who attacked and the divine is she was this vision true what are we seeing i don't remember echoes of what happened here the fade bleeds into this place this rift is not sealed but it is closed albeit temporarily i believe that with the mark the rift can be opened and then sealed properly and safely however opening the rift will likely attract attention from the other side that means demons! Stand ready!
I didn't know you were awake. I swear. Don't worry about it. I only... I beg your forgiveness and your blessing. I am but a humble servant. You are back in Haven, my lady. They say you saved us. The breach stopped growing, just like the mark on your hand. It's all anyone has talked about for the last three days. Then the danger is over. The breach is still in the sky, but that's what they say. I'm certain Lady Cassandra would want to know you've wakened. She said, at once. And where is she? In the Chantry, with the Lord Chancellor. At once, she said. Her. That's the Herald of Unrest. I believe Seeker Cassandra would like to speak with you. That's her. She stopped the breach from getting any bigger. I heard she was a nothing to do with us. That isn't Chancellor Roderick's decision, sister. Most of the Chancellor have died at the Conclave. Have you got completely mad? She should be taken to Val Royo immediately. To be by whomever becomes divine. I do not believe he is. The elder tale. The breach is still in the sky. For all you know, she intended it this way. I do not believe that. That is not for you to decide. Chain her! I want her prepared for travel to the capital for trial. Disregard that and leave us. You walk a dangerous line, Seeker. The breach is stable, but it is still a threat. I will not ignore it.
I did everything I could to close the breach. It almost killed me. Yet you live. A convenient result in so far as you're concerned. Have a care, Chancellor. The breach is not the only threat we face. Someone was behind the explosion at the Conclave. Someone Most Holy did not expect. Perhaps they died with the others, or have allies who yet live. I am a suspect? You, and many others. But not the prisoner. I heard the voices in the temple. The Divine called to her for help. So her survival, that thing on her hand, all a coincidence. Providence. The Maker sent her to us in our darkest hour. So you've changed your mind about me? I was wrong. Perhaps I still am. I will not, however, pretend you were not exactly what we needed when we needed it. The breach remains, and your mark is still our only hope of closing it. This is not for you to decide. You know what this is, Chancellor. A writ from the Divine, granting us the authority to act. As of this moment, I declare the Inquisition reborn. We will close the breach, we will find those responsible, and we will restore order with or without your approval. This is the Divine's directive. Rebuild the Inquisition of old. Find those who will stand against the Chaos. We aren't ready. We have no leader, no numbers. And now, no Chantry support. But we have no choice. We must act now, with you at our side. What is the Inquisition of old, exactly? It preceded the Chantry. People who banded together to restore order in a world gone mad. After, they laid down their banner and formed the Templar Order, but the Templars have lost their way. We need those who can do what must be done united under a single banner once more. But aren't you still part of the Chantry? <laughs> Is that what you see? The Chantry will take time to find a new Divine, and then it will wait for her direction. But we cannot wait. So many Grand Clerics died at the Conclave. No, we are on our own. Perhaps forever. You're trying to start a holy war. We are already at war. You are already involved. Its mark is upon you. As to whether the war is holy, that depends on what we discover. If you're truly trying to restore order, that is the plan. Help us fix this before it's too late.
refugees out in the hinterlands, near Redcliffe? Hard to know. The mages and the Templars put a lot of people out of their homes. At least Mother Giselle is there now. I think we have to The Chosen of Andraste. A blessed hero sent to save us all. I've no interest in being a hero. All I want is to find a way to seal this breach. Pragmatic, but ultimately irrelevant. I've journeyed deep into the fade in ancient ruins and battlefields to see the dreams of lost civilizations. I've watched as hosts of spirits clash to reenact the bloody past in ancient wars both famous and forgotten. Every great war has its heroes. I'm just curious what kind you'll be. What do you mean, ruins and battlefields? Any building strong enough to withstand the rigors of time has a history. Every battlefield is steeped in death. Both attract spirits. They press against the veil, weakening the barrier between our worlds. When I dream in such places, I go deep into the Fade. I can find memories no other living being has ever seen. You fall asleep in the middle of ancient ruins. Isn't that dangerous? I do set wards. And if you leave food out for the giant spiders, they are usually content to live and let live. I've never heard of anyone going so far into the Fade. That's extraordinary. Thank you. It's not a common field of study for obvious reasons. Not so flashy as throwing fire or lightning. The thrill of finding remnants of a thousand-year-old dream? I would not trade it for anything. I will stay then, at least until the breach has been closed. Was that in doubt? I am an apostate mage surrounded by Chantry forces, and unlike you, I do not have a divine mark protecting me. Cassandra has been accommodated, but you understand my caution. Cassandra trusts you. She won't let anyone put you into a circle against your will. Thank you. I appreciate the thought. But now let us hope either the mages or the Templars have the power to seal the breach. Sacred asked, told me that he can't let the herbs go for anything less than eight. Fine. <laughs> Look who's back from the dead. Again. I don't recall meeting you before. I'd be surprised if you did. You weren't particularly coherent. Someone had to patch you up after you staggered out of making those wear, though. So, you're welcome. I didn't realize. Thank you. Yeah. Well. You can pay me back by fixing the wool. Name's Adan. I'm in charge of keeping our little band here stocked with potions and elixirs. Not that Seeker Pentagast seems to care whether we've got the supplies to actually do that. How do I go about having potions made? Just take a look there and tell me what you'd like. Find a recipe for something better, I can make that too.
Perhaps, perhaps another time. Giselle is doing more for the refugees than most. Yes, whenever people are tired or hungry. Or... See? What can did I tell you? Thank you. What can you tell me about this area? Adan is Haven's apothecary. He's been making potions and tending to the wounded as best he can. Harris is the Inquisition smith. Whatever he can make you, Thren the quartermaster can probably find. And for anything fancier, you can try buying from Segrit. His prices aren't too high. Yet. Oh, there's also my knave. She studies beasts and things, as I understand. Farewell. Goodbye. We have the fate of the flight so far from our children and from I'm pleased to hear it. Day. Or good as it could be with a sky ripped apart. What kind of person stays to run a shop at a time like this? The kind with nowhere else to go. Those blasted demons destroy most of my goods. If I stay here, work some contacts, I can start rebuilding. Maybe, just maybe, help you folks out in the process. Can I see what you have for sale? Of course. My wares are at the table.
I don't see why we need to build siege equipment. We're not laying siege to anything. That's an excellent point, Recruit. But if someone comes to lay siege to us, perhaps it will be best for us to have some means to fight back. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. the door again, Flissa. Don't know how it keeps breaking. If the Inquisition wants to feel... I heard Secret Pentecost might try to... Flissa thought you and your men might be working up a thirst. She sent me over to see if you needed anything. We're fine, thank you. Expected you'd be by. I'm Harriet, and everyone knows who you are. How's the new gear fit? Sturdy and warm. It's perfect. Good. World's gone mad. Stock armor and blades are good against bandits, but we're not fighting bandits. My gear will see you through demons, apostates, whatever this world throws at you. So, you need custom work, something special. You bring the materials to us, we'll make it happen. Can you help improve my arms and armor? Yes. If you find a new piece, a pauldron or greaves, we'll take care of you. You can't just slap a new hilt on your sword in the field. Bring it here, we'll make sure it's done right and proper. Does the Inquisition not have supplies to make armor or weapons? Tough convincing traders to haul up here. Impossible to get them to risk the rare stuff, so that's on you. If I want something, what can you make? Start simple. Something to keep you safe. Take a look at it on the table there and we can talk. You'll need materials. We should have what you want just outside. Goodbye. Right.
know. You need something, let me know. Does it trouble you? It stopped spreading. And it doesn't hurt. We take our victories where we can. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time, and Solas believes a second attempt might succeed, provided the mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. What harm could there be in powering up something we barely understand? Hold on to that sense of humor. You've met Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's forces. It was only for a moment on the field. I'm pleased you survived. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. Anderan Atishan. You speak Elven. You've just heard the entirety of it, I'm afraid. And of course, you know Sister Liliana. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spymaster. Yes, tactfully put, Cassandra. Pleased to meet you all. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. <sighs> we need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. They still think I'm guilty. That is not the entirety of it any longer. Some are calling you, a Dalish elf, the Herald of Andraste. That frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy, and we heretics for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the Majors or Templars for help is currently out of the question. Just how am I the Herald of Andraste? People saw what you did at the temple, how you stopped the breach from growing. They have also heard about the woman seen in the rift when we first found you. They believe that was Andraste. Even if we tried to stop that view from spreading... Which we have not. The point is, everyone is talking about you. It's quite the title, isn't it? How do you feel about that? I'm not sure how I should feel. The Chantry has decided that for you, it seems. People are desperate for a sign of hope. For some, you're that sign. And to others, a symbol of everything that's gone wrong. 
They aren't more concerned about the breach, the real threat. They do know it's a threat, they just don't think we can stop it. The Chantry is telling everyone you'll make it worse. There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far, and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. I'll see what she has to say. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. Did you see the message I sent? Yes, thank you. Herald of Andraste. I've heard the stories. Everyone has. We know what you did at the Breach. It's odd for a Dalish elf to care what happens to anyone else, but you'll get no backtalk here. That's a promise. Inquisition Scout Harding, at your service. I, well, all of us here, will do whatever we can to help. <laughs> Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's High Town? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and I... No, <laughs> never mind. Ugh. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should get to business. The situation's pretty... dire. We came to secure horses from Redcliffe's old horsemaster. I grew up here, and people always said that Dennett's herds were the strongest and the fastest this side of the Frostbacks. But with the Mage Templar fighting getting worse, we couldn't get to Dennett. Maker only knows if he's even still alive. Mother Giselle's at the crossroads helping refugees and the wounded. Our latest reports say that the war's spread there, too. Corporal Vale and our men are doing what they can to help protect the people, but... they won't be able to hold out very long. You best get going. No time to lose.
dispatch for you. What is it? Could prove useful, sir. The apostates have fled to the hills. People will think twice before attacking the Inquisition now. What's that?
Templar bastards killed my husband and stole the ring from his finger. They deserve to die. You're saying the Templars attacked your husband? Aye. He was digging out a stump. The fools couldn't tell a shovel from a major staff. Had to be safe, they said. Rebels everywhere attacking by surprise, sick bastards. They took the ring I gave him on our wedding day in case it was magic. Farewell. Hmm. It is good to see the Inquisition helping the refugees. It seems no one else will.
Let me try. Excuse me, have you seen another Inquisition scout? Elven woman, answers to Ritz. You said your friend hasn't reported back. Well, she was supposed to be checking on some apostates. I'm on duty here or I'd go look for her. I'll talk to you later.
That may be worth investigating. Mother Giselle ought to be around here somewhere. Inquisition forces! They're trying to protect the refugees! like they could use a hand. We are not Templars. We mean you no harm. It doesn't look like they're listening. Coming our way. There are mages here who can heal your wounds. Lie still. Don't... Don't touch me, Mother. Their magic is... Turn to noble purpose. Their magic is surely no more evil than your blade. What? Hush, dear boy. Allow them to ease your suffering. Mother Giselle. I am. And you must be the one they are calling the Herald of Andraste. I'm told you asked for me. I know of the Chantry's denouncement, and I am familiar with those behind it. I won't lie to you. Some of them are grandstanding, hoping to increase their chances of becoming the new Divine. Some are simply terrified. So many good people. Senselessly taken from us. What happened was horrible. Fear makes us desperate, but hopefully not beyond reason. Go to them. 
convince the remaining clerics you are no demon to be feared. They have heard only frightful tales of you. Give them something else to believe. You want me to appeal to them? If I thought you were incapable, I wouldn't suggest it. Will they even listen? Let me put it this way. You needn't convince them all. You just need some of them to doubt. The power is the unified voice. Take that from them and you receive the time you need. It's good of you to do this. I honestly don't know if you've been touched by fate or sent to help us, but I hope. Hope is what we need now. The people will listen to your rallying call as they will listen to no other. You could build the Inquisition into a force that will deliver us or destroy us. I will go to Haven and provide Sister Leliana the names of those in the Chantry who will be amenable to a gathering. It is not much, but I will do whatever I can. Corporal Vale is coordinating the Inquisition's efforts in the area. We should speak with him. I'll keep an eye out. No, they don't. It's just what I heard. Yes, sir. If you say so. You're all right, sir. Thank you, Mr. Looking for any That's trouble. Fine. What is this place? Map making tenderfoots named this the Hinterlands. Uh, but right here, it's nowhere. Just some fields, now a bunch of demons. I'm Giles, by the way. I need to be on my way. Make a watch over you then. I tell you. You're right, sir. 